I got a Steam Deck for a couple of months now and I've been using it quite a lot since then. But probably since day one I didn't stop at playing only my games from the Steam library. Maybe it's because I had like two games on Steam before receiving the Steam Deck, but also because I wanted to experiment. So this device is capable of so many things, thanks to its desktop mode especially. This device is basically a full-fledged Linux PC and I took advantage of this. So far I've installed third-party applications that allows me to do remote play from my PS5, test out Xbox Cloud Gaming or even to benefit from my Epic library through an application called Heroic Launcher. And these are only a fraction of what I did in desktop mode. But after a while things like this started to happen. Applications are not starting, I get random reboots or I even get a freeze from time to time. That's why today I decided to do a complete reinstallation of the Steam OS. Valve is providing a procedure which I will link into the description and to be fair this does seem to be pretty straightforward. But since I've decided to do this I wanted to do a video about it and go through each step together with you guys. That being said let's switch to our PC and start the procedure. Alright so what we have here it's the Steam Deck recovery instruction manual that Valve is providing. As you can see here there are only a couple of steps that we need to follow and they are pretty straightforward but what we do have to do it's to download first of all the recovery image and we'll do that just now and after you agree to the licenses you just hit download. Once that is done you can move over to the next step and this depends on your operating system that you have on your local PC. Today I'm using my Mac mini so I'll have to use the Balena Etcher app for the Mac OS system. Once that one is downloaded as well what we have to do now is basically use that utility that we just downloaded for our operating system and insert the recovery image on a memory stick. The easy solution is if you have laying around an USB-C memory stick to use that one and you don't need anything else but if you only have a regular USB-A memory stick laying around you can use this with a USB-C dock. This allows you to use the Steam Deck with multiple ports that you don't regularly have and as you can see this one also has a couple of USB-A uh, ports laying around. I have featured this USB-C dock in uh, my accessory videos so please make sure to check that one out. Ok so now that we have both the recovery image and the utility downloaded it's time to insert the USB memory into my Mac mini. The next step is to install Balena Etcher on my Mac mini so I'll just go ahead and do that. Then we can open the utility and then we have to insert the recovery image. Basically we use the flash from file because we already downloaded that one. Then go to the path where you know that you have downloaded the recovery image and now the image is loaded. Now you have to select the target so basically this is the USB-C memory stick. Select the partition that you want to use and then we can click on flash. We have an estimated time of 6 minutes so I'll just fast forward through this and come back once this is done. Alright, so the flash is finally done. It actually took more than 6 seconds. I don't have an estimation but probably more than even 20 minutes. But it's fine, it's done. I hope it's working so we can proceed with the next step. Ok, so for the next steps uh, we can move over to the overhead camera and we can go through adding the recovery image on my Steam Deck. Before we do that, I want to emphasize that there are a couple of recovery options as you can see here. So basically we can do a full factory reset. So this removes also the install games applications and wipes everything. And uh, I will do just that uh, in today's video. Then we have uh, clear local user data which will remove the download games and also the system configuration. And then we have uh, to reinstall the Steam OS which will try to preserve your games and the personal content and the recovery tool that will just enable uh, the options to have access to your boot partition. For some this option I know that was enough so you, they didn't have to do the full wipe or recovery because they were basically stuck in a boot loop so for them this option was enough just to pass that um, boot loop that they were going through. Alright so now that we've gone through all these options Let's go ahead and move to the overhead camera and proceed with the installation of the recovery image. Alright, so the next step after you've installed the recovery image on your memory stick is to shut down the Steam Deck. 
Alright, so now that the Steam Deck is turned off, we have to go into the boot manager. How we do that? It's basically holding down on the volume down button and only click on the power button. And once we hear a chime sound, then we can release the volume down button. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, going to the boot manager, it's fairly easy and very quick. Actually, this is the first time I'm entering this menu, but it was a very quick process. Now we can insert our memory stick into the USB-C port of the Steam Deck. After you insert the memory stick, then you have to go to the boot manager. Over here, you'll have the navigation buttons, which is the D-pad and also A to select. So once we are on boot manager, we just click on A. In our case, because we want to reinitialize the OS, we have to click on EFI USB device and hit A again. If you have followed Valve procedure, you'll notice that now all you have to do is just to give it a couple of minutes while it's going through this booting process. I'll pause the video for now and I'll get back to the Steam Deck once this is done. Ok, so the booting has ended and as you can see here, we have the 4 options that I've talked previously. In my case, this is the second option. So you can navigate through the desktop mode using the, the touchpad over here and you can simply click on the preferred option. In my case, Reimage Steam Deck. And actually, I already discovered an issue because it doesn't allow me to click on anything. You'll notice that the touchpad is working, but I cannot click on anything. So apparently there is another option on how to click and you can do that using the R2 trigger over here. So as you can see this acts like a click so you don't really have to use the touchpad and I'm happy that at least we got a workaround so hopefully now we can go through the whole process. And now we have the prompt in the console where you can see how the reinitialize of the Steam OS is working. Let's come back in a couple of minutes once this whole process is done. Alright, so now we have this prompt that the re-image is complete. So now we have to choose proceed in order for the Steam Deck to reboot. Once again, we use the R2 trigger in order to click. And there you go. Now we have a full factory reset Steam Deck. And I can go ahead and log in with my account and I can basically start from scratch and hopefully all the previous errors and the reboots and um, freezes that I got previously, now they should be solved. And I can start using the Steam Deck and especially the desktop mode to install a couple of more third party applications that would allow me to enjoy the Steam Deck even more. I do have a couple of interesting videos that I have planned for you, so please stick around so you won't miss them. I will not go through the full installation once more, but this is basically how the Steam Deck comes out of the box, so from now on you can go ahead and log in with your account. So hope you find this video useful and please make sure to check out my other videos about Steam Deck. That's it for now, this is the Tech Unravel and I'll catch you in the next one.